canvassing the city before and on the 4th of July to enforce these laws. And now two months ago, Fresno City Council passed an ordinance to crack down on illegal fireworks. The new ordinance increases fines and will not only go after the person shooting off the fireworks, but also after the host of the party or landowner as well. And Fresno Police Department will be also out patrolling before and on the 4th of July to enforce these laws. And of course, with the 4th, just less than a week away, a few days here, fireworks sales are kicking off today in Fresno. And let's check in with our Gabe Salazar. He's live in Clovis, his nonprofit. Get ready for hopefully a busy week of sales ahead. Hi, Gabe. Megan, the sale of safe and sane fireworks officially kicks off today at noon. So we got Clovis East High setting up shop here at the corner of Clovis and Shaw. They are one of 30 other nonprofits that are cleared to sell these safe and sane fireworks. The way you can tell between safe and sane and illegal fireworks is they're, they're going to have this state of California fire marshal seal right here. So if you see that, they are good to go. Um, also, any fireworks that either explode or lift off the ground are considered illegal. But like I mentioned, Clovis East High um, is setting up shop here. So with me now is Marco Maloney, who um, is the director of Clovis East High Band. So tell us and walk us through what this money will go towards in the department. Uh, sure. So the money will go towards the uh, students themselves, actually. Uh, it goes towards our uniforms that we do every year for the March Man Show and winter season. Uh, it goes towards instrument repairs and purchases, and then transportation fees getting us to our competitions across the state and just making sure our students have great experience. And what is the turnout like year after year? Uh, it's been pretty slow at the beginning, which we anticipate, you know, people are still working during the week, but it gradually increases as we get closer and closer to the 4th. Uh, the 4th is definitely our busiest day, and uh, we anticipate this year being just like normal with as lots of families coming out and buying fireworks for their fun times. And uh, sales end two days after July 4th, right? Uh, for us, we end on the 4th. Oh, okay. Yeah, so we will go until about 9 p.m. on the 4th or once we run out of all inventory. All right, sounds good. And we see this huge box right here. So you, you said you only have two of these, right? Correct. Um, every stand has one or two. We are lucky to be ones that have two. Uh, they're on sale for about $800. It's, the value is about $1,400, yeah. um, but it's on sale for eight. Yeah, speaking about prices, how have you seen the prices of fireworks been impacted, especially from phantom fireworks because of inflation, high cost of shipping? Have you seen the prices of the actual fireworks impacted at all? not so much this year. There have been increases over the years, but from this year to compared to last, it is about the same. So families should not be feeling that in their pockets this year. Okay, sounds good. And definitely looking forward to a busy week ahead, right? Absolutely. All right, Marco, thanks. And Megan, back to you. You know, if you're buying that box, that's for like the big barbecue and you got multiple. That's for the that's family. The that's the whole subdivision. That's the family reunion box right there. And you're, you're Venmoing for that. All right, Gabe, thank you. 611 nailed this morning. And still